Hey, hey, hey everyone, it is June 13th and here I have a cutout of a set I need to paint and so for a very cool competition, which is co-organized by my school and it is called Responsible Fashion Awards. So I decided to participate this year, so here is my project for that. And this needs to be ready before 24th for the finals. I tell you, it's not gonna be easy as I also have a trip planned since February and we are going away with my boyfriend and my family to Charlotta to see Alice Cooper's show and we are gonna stay there for about four days. So I'll need to work on this project on the road and I think it's gonna be fun so I decided just now to vlog that. So today is the 15th, we arrived last night. It was pretty late so we had some dinner in our rooms and basically went straight to bed. Today is the day of the concerts, I'm absolutely stoked about it and I've been craving live music for so long. I've already been here before but only seen the shows in the amphitheater. I haven't like stayed here in the actual place and it's like a really big complex with a zoo and uh, other attractions and all this nature and beautiful trees and forests. So now we're gonna go for a walk and to just wander around for a little bit. You can actually hear the drum rehearsals everywhere here, so this is getting really exciting. Some funny boats here. Look at this beautiful place. It is huge. And I don't really mind the drum sound checks right now because uh, I'm getting only excited when I hear this for tonight. And there's my face because I'm always behind the camera when I take photos and stuff, so. quick shot of me trying to jump off of the stairs in a cool and funky way but as you can see I'm graceful as hell here and that's Dominic at the top of the world okay y'all so we decided to get a couple's massage so we are heading to the spa there's Domi in his wellness attire Here we are back at our rooms, just chilling. This is the view from our window. I mean, we have a grand floor room. And I was too tired to hear that, but Dominic claims that Alice Cooper and the crew might have gotten here at night and that he heard Alice Cooper talk and that woke him up. So I don't know, it would be funny if that was true. So this is my workplace. I try to keep everything as organized and tidy as possible because I don't want to stain any carpet or any furniture so I have some plastic with me to put under the work and so far I did all that. For the top, in total I need to paint six different pieces and all of them are in different sizes but now I see it coming together so that's gonna be good. Cheers! So these paints have really specific smell when you use them and when you keep your head above your work all the time so i needed a break so here we are going to the zoo to check it out i have already have been here a couple of times in this place but i never stayed in the actual hotel so everywhere in the halls on walls there are a lot of pictures from the festival and of all those people who came to perform here and it is so so cool i really love to look at them 
can get the idea how big of a music fan the owner of this place is. Even the bar is rock and roll themed. We have some time left before the show, so we decided to play some pool. And we are not really good players, but... That's it, this is my fit for tonight. I'm wearing the play suit that I wore in my Pamela Day Bar inspired video. There is only one gate. Every time I was here before, there were more gates and there was absolutely no line. And today we are waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm not really sure if we're gonna make it to the support, but actually you can hear them from here. Okay, we made it. After the show, I'm a little bit disappointed as we didn't manage to catch anyone from the band for autograph or a photo, but that's okay, the show was fantastic. I had such a great time. I think we all did, even my parents said it was awesome and that they would see it again if they could. So now we are in a bar drinking milk from the glass. There's a lot of Carlos Santana here, as he played here a lot of times. He even left his guitar here. I'm looking for photos from the shows that I've been to. There was so much music all day that it seems so so quiet right now it's so unreal i think everyone went 
went to the bar or to the hotel rooms because there, there is not much happening here except us wandering around in our bathrobes so I found some photographs from concerts that I've seen here and that's Suzy Quattro. It was really really cool. I mean all of them were pretty awesome and this is my only Suzy Quattro's concert that I've been to and it was so so good. I've been to her concert with my dad because my dad is really a glamour fan. Here's Patti Smith. I was alone here for her. Here's White Snake. That was really something. He sang it in the rain and it looked like a scene from Flashdance actually. Really, really spectacular. That's Robert Plant who performed here a year before I actually started to come here and I will regret that forever because I really really loved the record that he was um, touring after here so that sucks okay so here's me after the show final outfit check and this is our mess and this is my mess we bought some t-shirts from the marriage and here's the final look for tonight of what i did it's like 2 a.m or something like that i'm gonna work on that in the morning morning everyone this is my workspace for now i started to paint a new piece as the other one is drying out i'm a clumsy person so i don't really want to ruin anything so here's the top front part without the sleeves and i'm really happy how it's turning out so far I think it's gonna look really good together. I hope I don't mess up anything in the process. And that's Dominic just chilling. I think really that the vibe of this trip and that I'm doing this on the road is adding to that costume. And I think I'm gonna really use this in my presentation of this outfit. I'm getting used to those paints and generally painting on fabric. I've never actually used them. I made some mock-ups for that to see how those paints would uh, look like on this particular fabric. They are thicker than basic acrylic paints. Also, I'm mostly used to painting with oil paint, so this is like completely different from that. But I'm really curious how it's gonna turn out when it all comes together and to see this design as a whole. Last day of our trip. I mean, my parents and my grandma are staying here for one more day, but me and Dominic are leaving tomorrow, so... Today's also my father's birthday, so we are going to see the town that is near and it has a beach and I've never been here before. So today is the 16th, so we have like a holiday and the procession was going around town, so there are a lot of flowers left on the streets. We're going back to the hotel because I really really need to paint as I'm also having another deadline for my diploma collection actually so I'm starting to get pretty stressed but I do not regret any minute here because the concert was awesome and this place is absolutely beautiful and I wish we'd stay here for another week at least.
In the meantime, we are going to this restaurant that is on this little island here on the lake. We're going here for lunch and to celebrate my dad's birthday. So we're gonna have some little nice family time here and then I'm gonna probably paint more. Okay, so here's the final look of what I did being here. Our train leaves at 7 a.m. so we need to pack. Here's how this place looks at almost 7 in the morning. My dad is gonna drive us to the station and then we're gonna head back to my house. That's it. I really wish it lasted longer and I had some more time to prepare for the contest so we could stay here for a while longer. Especially I would love to have another show here booked, but this was the only one right now. everyone time to finish this so here's me trying to finish up those um, pants before I get to sew them I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty tired this was such a long process to get everything done so I would be happy with how it looks but I am pretty happy and all these colors seem to look really really nice together and they don't seem to be coming off I tried to wash the sample that I made and the colors are not damaged, um, everything seems fine so I'm really hopeful that it will be super awesome. So just a quick disclaimer that I did some stuff to finish this project and to make it as close as possible to what I drew and I forgot to vlog this actually, what I did, so I have only photos because I documented everything and basically it's about responsible fashions, so I tried to use as natural ingredients as possible. Also, my fabrics didn't really came right because um, there were some problems in the factories due to pandemics and all that. So I got substitutes and they came in weird colors and I had to customize the heck out of them. So what I did is I took this really, really awful pink salmony colored fabric that I really didn't like and I dyed it in cumin to make it orange as planned. And this really worked. I didn't really have to use anything artificial. And also I washed it after I dyed it and it didn't came off. So I'm really, really happy that it worked. To make the purple thrills that I planned to make, I received a fabric that was really soft to touch, but at the same time it was super dark and I bleached it in a tie-dye way and it was pretty a cool experiment because I'd never really done it myself, I only watched like videos how to do it. So I hope I have some leftovers from this fabric because I would love to make something else from it because it's awesome how it turned out and I love the result. 
I also tested all the techniques on scraps from that fabric so I so I wouldn't mess up everything that I got. And then I used Genshin to dye what was bleached purple. And the result is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with this fabric. So when I took it out and it was still wet, I wasn't really like impressed with the result. But when it dried out and I ironed it, it turned out so, so cool. It is awesome. I would love to have a shirt made of that. And I love that the natural techniques kind of worked on that. This is how a really, really tired but also happy person looks like. I got my outfit together and it's finally done. And tomorrow is the presentation on the finals. So I would need to talk about this outfit, about how I made it and about everything. And I really, really hope I would win this thing. This is me trying on this outfit. These pants are insanely long and I hope I will get a really tall model for that. I also will take really, really high heels with me. So that should help. But I really hope for a model that would fit this outfit because the models are chosen randomly for us and it doesn't really depend on what I want or what I don't want. So I have no idea who's gonna pose in that. There we are in the finals. That's me and my friend sitting next to me. And yeah, we're waiting for the decision here. So spoiler, at this point, I already had my presentation and here we are already going kind of silly because we are too tired to think anymore. So I tried to stay focused till the end, but it was hard as I got really, really tired after I did my presentation. So also another spoiler, I didn't manage to win this competition. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But at the same time, I'm really happy that I took part in it and I am obsessed with the look I made and I created it myself. So that's really cool. I had this opportunity to test out all those techniques that I probably wouldn't have tested out if I didn't have to. And I'm kind of inspired to do something more with those paints and ways to customize clothing or just textiles. Also, this block was kind of fun to make and I'm happy about everything so I guess I'm a winner after all in a way and thank you for staying with me for this vlog so bye y'all